All right, 615 the time here at 11 Alive. We are where Atlanta speaks, and I know we're all social distancing these days, but we decided to play it safe, put on our mask, get out, and talk to you because we want to hear what you had to say. Check it out. We've all mastered social distancing. Let's not forget about socializing. We're where Atlanta speaks, so speak up. Let's talk. Tell me what it's like at your house with the family. But you got some kids there. Right now we have a newborn baby, and we have to really be cautious. Normally when you have a baby, a lot of family members will come over and try to help out. So we haven't been getting any type of help. It's very challenging, but we're making it through. What keeps you positive? First of all, that Jesus came and gave his life. And so in terms, I have to do that for those, especially in memory care, that don't have a voice anymore. I feel like I have been called to that part of service. You know, we're where Atlanta speaks. Is there anything I want to say? Uh, give a little more of that positivity. There's always going to be that something. You just got to rise above it and just keep moving. What are some of the things that are kind of lifting your spirit up a little bit? So I'm in here buying bread because we're uh, making uh, sandwiches for the uh, shrine uh, down in the city, and they give out sandwiches to about 700 people every Saturday. You see the best coming out on a lot of people when things like this happen. What do you want to say to everybody that's either staying at home or venturing out for a little bit of shopping? I would say give yourself some grace. It's okay to have good days and bad days. How are you getting through all this? What are you doing? Uh, well, I worship. And though these are difficult times, he's faithful still. This too shall pass. Troubles do not always last. It's a temporary thing. It's on itinerary, but it's not the final destination. Our life is bigger than what we thought it was. You know what I mean? The smaller things really count. I want to encourage everyone to stay strong. Boy, there was so much more to all those interviews, too. We were out there for a good two hours talking to so many wonderful people, and it was just the positivity, the spirit. In fact, the one common denominator that I think you heard was all about it's in God's hands. We're going to do what we can to be safe, to help our fellow friends and family, but we're going to put it in his hands, and we're going to get through this. It really was. Yeah. I walked out of that shoot with just such, such a, a smile on my face and, and so much in my heart. It was fantastic. Crash, my biggest takeaway from that, it's okay to not be okay during this pandemic. I've definitely not been myself. I've been stressed out. But you're going to have your good days. You're going to have your bad days. But it's okay to not be okay. And just try to laugh when you can. Yeah, you know, there's something about the human spirit. People just the resiliency. Uh, when, when tragedy strikes or things get you down, you know, people find a way to bounce back. And it's good to hear that people are, are doing that and keeping their spirits up. It's good to hear that we're not alone. You know, so many of us have not been okay, including myself. I've probably had like my third Corona breakdown, as I call it. But what gets me through um, are the positive messages that I get uh, from our Morning Rush viewers. And just this morning, this is, this is causing me to tear up this morning. I got this one from Ashley, an email Ashley saying that she felt led by God to express this to me. Do not get weary in well-doing for in due season, you will reap rewards during this pandemic is a great time to draw closer to God and lay our burdens down at his feet. So thank you, Ashley, and thank you to everyone out there who keep us in your prayers as well. We so appreciate you. Chesley, let's turn it over to you.